are these people? You've mentioned on Twitter that you uh, that your father uh, was anti-Zionist. <laughs> Can you share how his stance on the ideology influenced you? Um, yeah, I think it had an influence probably um, after he passed away in 2001. Because growing up, it was just something, you know, it was kind of normal for me um, being with my dad at various events and so on. And I guess I probably absorbed it by some kind of symbiosis. But I wasn't very focused on it. I had my own path. And my dad was not he was kind of a bit of the Victorian era, you know, he didn't have, we, we didn't have a very close relationship. But after um, he died in 2001, I inherited all of his confidential papers. And I guess at some point I started to go through them and I started to really find out, sadly, after he died, who my dad mm -hmm. really was. And, you know, the incredible impact that he had um both on the middle east but also on um at that time british politics where there was a major pushback against the jewish settlement in palestine because as he um predicted it would lead to decades of uh bloodshed which of course it has um and um he he was vehemently against the zionist movement and equally he was hated by the zionist movement because they understood um, that he was someone, you know, not to be messed with, really, as, as some of the descriptions of him um, talk about. Um, so I guess, you know, um, growing up, because as a kid, I was with him in, uh, I'm showing my age now, in Cairo in 67. And then, of course, you know, he was always lecturing about Palestine, um, even after he retired. So yes, you know, and, and our dinner conversations were always politically um, minded anyway. So I guess, yes, it, it affected me hugely. Certainly the connection to the Middle East was always there. Um, even as a kid, I, you know, I, I, I was told I quite often used to escape and disappear off to the local mosque and I was found there by the security because I wasn't really <laughs> supposed to go off on my own, this kind of thing. So, um, yeah, it definitely created a connection to the Middle East and I reconnected um, in 2012 when I came back to Egypt and um, went back to the embassy, which was kind of weird because it hadn't changed at all. Um, and went to see where they had basically put um, a memorial stone for my dad. And then I went from there on into um, Gaza. But I think, in a way, he's affected me more now than when he was alive. Um, yeah. You know, I think subliminally, I'm always kind of checking in with him um, when I'm researching something or I'm analyzing something. and. It's kind of nice when I talk to people that are heavily invested into research and analysis and, and who actually knew people who knew him and so on. So I think I'm in a way, on a personal level, I'm also reconnecting with him through my work. 